Hello, while we are waiting on the crackers to get done, I want to show you something. This is a butternut squash, and if you all are eating these, these are great noodles. Um, they can be made into great noodles. They can also be made into very hearty dips, sauces. They can be made into um, wraps, different things. I have many, many recipes on my channel about the butternut squash. But I want to show you that these are my favorite peelers. This is the Titan brand peeler, okay? This is just a regular peeler, and this is the one that comes in the pack also. That, as you see, is the julienne. It has little slices. This makes quick work of noodles. So what you do is you basically take off any stickers or anything like that because these don't like stickers. And with a light hand, okay, get your hand back from this, and you're basically going to get it dug in and gently you're going to peel it. You see, because I found that to be hard to digest. Do y'all see what I'm doing? How easy? Just don't dig it too hard. A light hand is what makes easy work of this, okay? So you would do that to the whole thing, and then if you want small noodles, you would take this one, and you would just come along. Let me show you. Do y'all see this? You can also make, once you peel it, you can make noodles with this one, obviously. Do y'all see? And what we're doing is we're avoiding having to pick out the seeds and all that because we're basically just going to peel down to the seeds. You see, and we're going to move to another spot. See that? Easy as that, buttercups. Let's show you this one one more time. This one, you, it takes a little bit more work. Get it? So you don't have your wrist behind this because these things are sharp. And as you see, it's making noodles. Do y'all see? Look. See that? Look, it looks like a little octopus legs. <laughs> and these are very good if you're making like a raw lasagna or something because look how great that is. So anyway, see you later, alligators. Chilling on a dirt road. Lay back, swerve and look at your shoes. Smoke rolling out the window. And green drinks sitting in the console. Never lay it out on the headlights. Woo! <laughs> another noodle bites the dust. And another one down, another one down, another one bites the dust. Now, what was that you were telling me? That butternut squash was just too dang hard to use? Oh my gosh, I know. It's just... Woo! <laughs> now, as y'all see... What I'm doing, I'm going to get all the way down here to the seeds. I'm going to get every last little bit. Do y'all see that? Get your noodle on. <laughs> hey, hey, here's one, another way you can use your butternut squash. Look at this beautiful display. This is only one avocado, and th this is an enormous platter, okay? This is enough for several people. In this dip, in my food processor, I used four large stalks of celery, one avocado, one third jalapeno, one peeled lime, use the pith and all, the, the fiber and everything. Um, one cup butternut squash, black pepper to taste, and cilantro to taste. And as you see, very creamy and delicious. And what we can do is we can take um, a lettuce boat, you see, and then we will put in our sliver of squash, and we will put in our dip. And we will just display these. These are very good. They have just enough kick. I'm trying to get away from a lot of extra spices and things. And these just really didn't need it. So there you go. See you later, alligators. Hey, and so just y'all, in case y'all were not tired of hearing from me today, here are some um, nori wrap rolls we've got going. And what we've pretty much done is we have the little um, cut the fat guacamole recipe I made. These are the noodles that were butternut squash. Then we have, um, of course, baby romaine, and then green onions. And so here's how we're going to do it, okay? Okay, so as you see, we have the sheet laid down on our cutting board. And on here, I have just a little layer 
I have a little layer of my guacamole or whatever dip you like in my other veggies. I'm gonna wet this in just a little bit and I'm going to roll this and cut it for you, okay? So sit right here, Let's see what we can do, okay? Okay, so I'm barely gonna damp this end on the very edge, okay? Then we're gonna take this and we're gonna kinda tighten this in a little bit, okay? We're gonna roll it, tuck it and tighten. Keep tucking in a little baby so no monsters get their feet. Roll it over, and then you wanna make sure it has a good seal on the side like that, okay? And then here's the key to cutting these. You need a very sharp knife. I like this one, which is a miracle blade. I've had this for a long time and never need sharpening. So you're gonna take it and you wanna put your fingers like around it like this so you're holding it in place and you can do in diagonal if you want. But the key is to make sure it goes all the way through for a clean cut. Do you see that? You can also use scissors if you have a new really sharp pair of scissors. See what I'm doing? Get it going and then push down and pull it, you see? I want to show you what it looks like if you cut it on the diagonal, which you hold it. You're holding your fingers that, see this one, I got that too wet right there. Cut it on the diagonal, you see, and you've got it like that right there. So there you go, just ideas from everywhere in the kitchen of love and lights. See y'all later.